Hello, world. It's Focus Connect tapping back in, man. And uh, I'm going to break this case down a little bit different, man. I'm going to give y'all the cooperators, the witnesses, and then I'm going to give y'all the defendants and all the events that happened on that tragic day that LBG Duck lost his life, man. Rest in peace to LBG Duck. Rest in peace to King Von. And also rest in peace to all the other young brothers that lost their life to all the different senseless violence that went on in this drill war. You know, but I'm going to start it off like this, man. Cooperator One, a black disciple initiated through the Newtown faction, but who lived in O Block from 06, 07 through 2011 and continued to be an active BD while living in O Block may testify at the trial. If Cooperator One is called to testify at trial, the government expects that Cooperator One will testify while he lived in O Block. The old block members will have weekly or bi-weekly meetings with $20 dues that were paid at each meeting. If a member did not pay dues, that member would be charged interest for unpaid dues. The money was paid for various purposes, including memorials and funerals for deceased members, bond money for members, and purchasing firearms. Cooperator One continued to live close to Parkway Gardens even after he moved. Cooperator 1, and then I haven't made it to a Cooperator 2 yet, but Cooperator 1 and Cooperator 2 would testify that old block members may have received a violation if they did not abide by the rules, including but not limited to an organized beating and the violations for the old block members were discussed in the meetings. Cooperator 1 and 2 may also testify that defendant Marcus Smart Muwak began to emerge as a leader within O Block after King Vaughn was murdered. Cooperator 1, if called to testify, will testify that O Block members made their money by committing burglaries and robberies and by selling drugs when he lived in Parkway Gardens. According to Cooperator 1, O Block members will use vacant apartments to store firearms and narcotics and no one can sell drugs inside a parkway without the permission of old block members. And before we pass judgment on anybody in this situation, we have to understand a lot of people haven't come from these environments that these people come from. You come outside your door and you know what I'm saying, this is reality, this is life. If you go to the next neighborhood and your address is even on some of these blocks, you become a target. So you have to look at it. A lot of people join these games because they really don't have a choice. And you stuck in it. You succumb to it, man. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't here to pay a judgment on nobody about the things they done. You know what I'm saying? Why they done it and things like that. Because we can only live in our own brain. You cannot live in the next man's brain and expect them to do the things that you would do in a situation like this. Because everybody's built different. You got people as they get older in life, man, they think about their family. They have flashbacks about their life, man. Walking these streets, being out here with nothing. Man, it ain't no, no different feeling than when you get your hands on something and when you see a different reality. Or when you move to a different state and you get to see a different reality. When you get to see that the world is bigger than that neighborhood you grew up in because that neighborhood we grow up in, whatever neighborhood you grow up in, it's a certain mentality, whether rich or poor. It's just a mentality that set on that neighborhood that it's unwritten rules that everybody know because they was raised on those rules and those principles and that's what they sought to be right. You know what I'm saying? But for a person to get that sit down and cooperate with the government, you know what I'm saying, or be a witness to a situation, that man had to be judged accordingly, you know what I'm saying? And, and I look at life like this, man. Only God can judge me, man. So whatever people put out there and say, okay, you done this or you did that, what they eat don't make you shit. So at the end of the day, man, we just got to keep striving and keep moving forward for a better purpose, man. Wake up, people.